There are a whole lot of new people, some stayed, some left, but first of all, welcome, and second, thank you for bearing with me, as this past Leo season has been quite hectic, to say the least, with Uranus in Taurus. So let's end it real quick and get prepared for the mutual season of Virgo, which will require us to be a little more flexible and adaptable, but not before we talk about the full moon in Aquarius. And as you can see, there's a lot happening on that Monday, so let's immediately dive into week 34, which we start on Monday the 19th of August, as the Sun will be in a conjunction with Mercury moving retrograde. So the Sun, with the dominant phrase I am, is home in Leo with the dominant phrase I will or I create, and has the power of the persona. So I create, I produce this persona and bring it out into the world. But sometimes we do forget what it is that we are or produce, and that's when we go back to springtime, as the sun is exalted in Aries. And in springtime, the beginning of the year, we said this is a time for action and a year of autonomy. And this is what I can unapologetically produce and create and bring out into the world without needing recognition or without needing anyone's resources. As the sun does come up and shine unapologetically for everything and everyone. In a conjunction with Mercury moving retrograde. So Mercury in retrograde, I rethink what I create and produce and bring out into the world. Well, the sun in Leo, uh, the hype man nobody asked for. Or, yeah, which title did you give yourself? Who do you think you are and who do you not think you are? Who do you think you are that you say, I'm obligated to? If I don't do it, who else is going to do it? And who do you not think you are that you think you're not worthy of your own time, your own energy, your own space, your own advice, your own love? To think back about it because it is the hype man that nobody asks for. It's, the, it's a role, it's a title you only place upon yourself. Remember that because the last conjunction with Mer uh, with the sun, our soul, and Mercury, our thoughts, was in Gemini season. The ruler, so Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, and during the first quarter in Virgo and twenty three degrees, the Aquarian degree. So I analyze what I what, what I want to innovate, what I want to achieve, my future aspirations, my future orientation. In um, so the, Mercury was also the ruler of that first quarter, but. I wrote down, think before you act or lash out. Because, again, nobody forced that position onto you except for yourself. You can always stand up for yourself. Uh -huh. Either way. And the next conjunction with the Sun and Mercury will be in Virgo. So where Leo isn't that evolved yet and shines on everything and everyone because it's ruled by the Sun. Virgo is ruled by Mercury and follows the gut. And Virgo, I'm going to talk about this in a bit, so don't be angry, but Virgo is very discriminating, very selective. It's like, yeah, um, no, you're not, no, this not, no. Remember that and be like that. Do not shine just because you can. Just because you can does not obligate you to, okay? As we're going off to the next aspect on Monday 19th, which is Venus in her fallen sign of Virgo in a mutable square with Jupiter in its detriment sign of Gemini. So a mutable square, uh, we need to be a little bit more flexible, need a little bit more changeable, adapt a little, make it more practical with Venus in a practical sign of, uh, of Virgo, but her fallen sign is Venus of Virgo always wants to improve, always wants to see better, always wants to do better. It has a lot in common with cancer, but we're going to talk about it. So, uh, Venus is the love. I love. This is what I, uh, what I give and this is what I receive. But if you want to improve the whole thing, if you want to improve the, uh, the whole thing outside of yourself, like, what is love? But, mm -hmm. also, yeah, spread skills. Uh, Virgo spread skills. So Venus would like to spread skill over here, would like to invest over here, would like to, but just because you can do it for something or someone else doesn't mean you will get a return of investment, remember that. Just because you help someone who was in the gutter does not obligate them either to be there for you when they're out of the gutter or to even help you when you're 
So be, be very selective, be very wise. And that's how you kind of like evolve with your Venus in, uh, in Virgo. And that moon will square with Jupiter in its detriment sign of Gemini. Because Jupiter is home in Sagittarius, that moon will fire. I give my energy, my passion here because I want to. I want to be here. I want to be there. I want to be this. And Gemini in the opposition, that moon will air is going to be just because I can. You know, I got the logic. I got the perception. I got the way. Uh, I got the... I, I know, I know, I know. But shh. Because what? When you get there, it's a long journey with Jupiter, but what's once you get where you want it to be? Do you still have enough? Is it still enough? You don't have to expose everything, right? But keep enough for uh, for yourself in order to get to your destination. Long story short, allow yourself to take a step back. Yeah, allow yourself to take a step back and to analyze the situation for, uh, for what it is before you get too invested okay little story time so uh that useless gemini boyfriend well no ir yeah i guess you irrelevant gemini boyfriend i had like 10 years ago he was living in my house and he didn't want to leave my house and my mom was like wait 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 wait. i can help i can improve in that venus in, in virgo i can help you make it better i can improve i can i told her like hey listen i've been in this situation a little too long and I'm just gonna dip. So I broke my lease, left the city, left the city. <laughs> and um, yeah, well, it's a little radical, but it helped. It's a solution. I didn't get too invested. I didn't like get uh, get into that partnership too much. I didn't like sign contract. I didn't get given children. I didn't like, we didn't buy a house. To, oh my God, imagine like, so the, the least I could do was just skip. Sometimes just like, Allow yourself to analyze the situation and don't try to improve the situation anymore. Just skip. Just, just. <laughs> Sometimes words won't help anymore. <laughs> so, <clears throat> after this, Venus will be in an opposition with Saturn in retrograde. Oh, and this is what I really want to talk about. Because Venus in Virgo is that earthy self, that earthy self, uh, yeah, improving herself on an earthly, uh, earthly base. And Saturn moving retrograde in Pisces is the spiritual self, the spiritual whatever. And sometimes when something happens, instead of like improving ourselves, instead of uh, trying to become better by like, I don't know, going to the gym, uh, getting a new diet, getting a new routine, doing all those Virgo things. I don't think you'll get this. But uh, when we're doing all those Virgo things, like getting a new routine, getting into new habits and stuff, Um, yeah, we just lick our wounds. We just do go for the self-compassion because we aren't going to say self-victimizing anymore. We're oh, we, no, no, no. We, we're going too much in that self-compassion. Like, oh, this happened. No, oh, this happened. Now I'm deserving more. No, 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 no. Go to the gym. Get that new routine. Get a, the only thing you can do is improve here on this earth instead of licking wounds. That's not going to make anything better, though. I say go for it. Stop licking them. <laughs> and yeah, as you can see, we're going into a mutable grand trine. But let's not talk about that because we're off to the full moon. Uh, before the full moon, the sun will be in a fixed square with Uranus. So the sun and Uranus are just kind of, oh, my be no. But the sun and Uranus were just kind of like talking because I see these aspects kind of like that Pokemon Game Boy, but like Pokemon Game Boy is very static, but I see it like So that that's what the sun and Uranus are doing in this fixed square. Like, hey. <laughs> okay, so the sun uh, in Leo. Uh, fixed. This is my personality. This is who I am. And sometimes we find things a little scary because we haven't have never done it before. Sometimes we find it a little 
uh, exciting and stuff. But yeah, Leo likes to take risks and stuff. And when Leo it, when Leo picks a cause, it sticks to the cause. And whatever needs to do, by any means. If I need to be blonde right now, I'll be blonde. If I need to be not, if I need to wear black, I'll be uh, I'll wear black. If I need to go to China, I'll go to China. This book sucks, but yeah, I want it to be interesting and read it on the plane, so I thought, sucks. But what did I get from it? Just do it. Long story short, Philly, he went to Japan because he wanted to, to start a shoe company, right? And he thought, like, when I go to J Japan, it's financially wiser because it's cheaper than making them where he lives, the U.S. So he never really traveled, never really went out of the continent, but he did it. He just did it. And he got the contract and it improved. He evolved. And I'm saying that because in the monthly overview, I was also talking about the colonel, right? Like, and the colonel, he was like 68 or something before uh, KFC took off or whatever. But what if he started in China? Maybe he was scared to go to China. Uh, China. <laughs> but just go you change your uh, change your proximity evolve in this big square yeah but yeah but fuck sorry yeah but yeah yeah but no 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 yeah. but what but what but what it's not something you cannot overcome it's not something you cannot uh you cannot do do you know who you are this has been a very, very testing, testing uh, season, this Leo season. I hope you know who you are, and or else Monday is going to show you. <clears throat> um, okay, and we're going on to where you came from, the full moon. So as this conversation was happening, right, like best belief, the moon came. Best believe the moon came and joined the conversation and was like another T square. So the moon, the feelings, and the sun in Leo. Uh, so the sun is our being and is feeling like a natural leader. Someone has to do it. And the moon is, uh, is coming in at opposition on 27 degrees, but like you have never done it before. That's so futuristic. That's so uh, un unexplored terrain and stuff. In the, rebel in the rebellious uh, Aquarius. And Aquarius also is always like, I'm a loner. I don't need to do it. I don't need to work for the king. Yes, you do. I have been talking. I have been telling this to the Aquarius Risings for a minute. Yes, you do. And especially as your ruling planet, Aquarius Rising, is Uranus, the mediator of, of this T-square. So remember what I said about T-squares. Uh, when two planets are in, in an opposition, uh, the middle planet is like the mediator. How do you want to evolve in what you have and, wh and what you are worth? And I have been telling you, step into the emotions. If you have to lead the people, if you have to lead the community, step into how it feels to be a leader. Step into how it feels to be someone who, it, who, who others uh, start talking to. Step. Put your lemon steppers on and step. In the name of love. Let me just grab my book for a minute. Oh, love. The ruling planet on 27 degrees, Gemini degrees says, get to know the basics of being a lover instead of a fighter. I don't know. What's the opposite of being a thinker? A doer. Get into the basics of being a doer instead of a, a thinker. Okay, that doesn't sound as cute, but you know what I mean. And sometimes you have to do things you've never done before. Those Gemini things, you know, Gemini new things, new basics. You just do those things you've never done before. Get to journaling, get to wear something physical that reminds you of. It's just an example, but do something. We have two T squares, as you can see, because later in the day, Jupiter will be in a mutable square with Saturn moving retrograde in Pisces. So Saturn moving retrograde, I find it difficult to stick to these plans, to achieve my dreams. It's your problem. Who, who have you been focusing on? Remember Jupiter, uh, Jupiter ruler of Sagittarius. Focus. 
fill your own cup before you try and start to fill someone else's cup. If you don't have enough, how can you share it? And Gemini would love to share. Gemini would love to make more contacts. Gemini would love, but it's too superficial. We're not doing superficial anymore. It's okay, but don't get too invested, love. Make whatever is necessary tangible for yourself. You want to grow, right? Grow. Heal first. In my in yeah, in mind, body, and soul. No, um, in your body and in your spirit. You know what? Let's just continue to Thursday, the 22nd of August, and then I'm going to quit. Because girl, still thin and in. Oops, 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 oops. <sighs> Dios be like, okay, so the sun will be arriving in Virgo with the dominant phrase I analyze spreads in spreads skills, practical, mutable earth signs. So sometimes it's more practical to just do what your mom says. But <clears throat> the ruling planet of uh, Virgo, Mercury, will be moving retrograde still until next week the 20th and the 21st degree of leo and the 21st degree is the libra degree so libra we have to take into account i rethink because that's where it all started eh that, that's where the pre-retrograde no this pre-retrograde started on 17 degrees but um libra degree uh mercury retrograde i rethink what i create what i produce and bring into the world libra degree take into account you need to fill your own cup first before you try to fill someone else's cup if you're not capable like i wasn't feeling the past two three seven days you're not capable you don't owe anything to anyone you did not give them life uh, remember that be selective enough to say man Okay, and um, this Mercury shadow will be moving until four degrees, I guess, and four, because on four degrees, it started moving retrograde in Virgo, and four degrees is the Cancerian degree, so that's why we're here, because the Cancer, the Krabby Patty, loves to nurture, unable to let go, loves to love, and in a sextile with, uh, with her, because loves to improve loves uh, loves to make better if it's not your garden it's someone else's garden but i say tend to your own garden first and give them lessons in your garden to tend their own garden teach a man how to fish kind of shit. what are you doing oh what are you drink because not everyone can come Hear me when I say, my Naija mama always say, oh, I did not give that. Well, she gave me life. So, well, I made of it. I did not give someone else life, so I don't owe them anything. Just remember that, love. And I'm finished. Oh, yeah. Like, as you can see, the sun moved into Virgo at, like, uh, 4.55 p.m.